These 48 solar panels take up just a portion of the rooftop of this Port Alberni apartment, but they supply a surplus of electricity. That actually powers 104% of the common area needs for the building. So that's elevator, laundry, hot water, uh, ventilation, heating, all completely powered by the sun. The building offers free EV charging too. The $16 million building was funded largely through provincial and federal grants. It's triple glazed windows, just one example of its energy efficiency. A nonprofit opened the 45,000 square foot building two and a half years ago, offering subsidized housing. We want to create good quality homes and use as little energy as we possibly can in order to operate those buildings. The plan was always to add solar to provide the building's electricity. It officially kicked in three weeks ago. They're leading with a vision. They're leading British Columbia, maybe even leading Canada with what they've done here on this install. And from a building owner standpoint, it makes incredible financial sense because they've now locked in their cost of electricity for the next at least 25 years. So when you're looking at affordable housing, you want you want it to be as your cost to be as predictable as possible. The solar panels were paid for thanks to grants from BC Housing and BC Hydro. For us, the payback is immediate. But even if the grants weren't there, the payback would have been five years. Solar has really come around. BC Hydro says it's glad to see self-generation projects. It has a great impact on on overall happiness for our customers because they can see a reduction in their bill. It great, it's great because it lessens demand on the system, um, less need for, for more generation. The society would like to build more housing to help the community, but the largest challenge is land. This property is owned by the Catholic Diocese of Victoria, which is leasing it for just $1,000 a month.